A section of leaders in West Pokot County have expressed concern over the state of insecurity along the border of Pokot and Marakwet. They claim their deteriorating insecurity in the area have forced a number of schools and business outlets to close down. <laughs> Elsewhere in Tanariva County, residents of Madongo have taken to the streets to protest against what they termed as grabbing of community land by the National Youth Service. The residents, mainly women, say they are forced to do business in the scorching sun as the land they earmarked for construction of a modern market has been grabbed. Here are the viongozi wa ingilie tupate majibu kutoka kwa national government na mwishimu wa wetu waje watuambie wameelewana vipi hii ardhi tupate kuipata hawa vijana wapate kupelekwa mahali ingine wabadilishiwe ardhi sisi tubaki na hii uwanja ipate kusaidia kina mama. Meanwhile, in Narok, police have launched investigations into an incident where the body of a 21-year-old lady was discovered dead at a lodging within the town. It is alleged that the lady was strangled by an unknown person who left her lying half-naked at the bed. Area residents have called on the government to bring to book the culprits. In Samburu County, a water tower is at the verge of extinction following an ongoing destruction. The forest in Ipartruk village has been encroached by people believed to have migrated from a neighboring area who are currently undertaking massive destruction. Finally, residents of Busia County have been eyed to embrace organic food for health living. Speaking during the celebration to mark the World Food Day, the county executive of agriculture Moses Osia eyed the residents to promote organic food as they do not contain chemicals that are associated with many lifestyle diseases.